excuse me. Oh, God. I need to clean over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oop, just. Right. Yeah, gotta get right in here. Okay. Yep, I need the whole area. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, these orb containment chambers are really hard to clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Orb goo gets all crusted in the corners. I cannot tell you how many of these things I have had to soak overnight in goo be gone. You've cleaned a lot of orbs? Have I cleaned a lot of orbs? Have I cleaned a lot of orbs? You're funny. Wait, what does this say? Steve? Steve what? The janitor. Exactly. Cleaning is my business. Big orbs, small orbs, square orbs, round orbs, orbiting orbs. You name an orb, I've cleaned it. <laughs> so, uh, what happens to them? I mean, like, who gets to keep it? Well, uh, I suppose it depends on the prophecy. The prophecy. Well, as legend has it, and this is all legend, mind you, each orb is destined to one true master, someone who can wield its power. Oh. And how do you know if you're, I mean, someone is the one true master? That is a great question. They're bound to the orb. They can hear it beckoning to them, feel its power, hear its orb heart beating. And then what do they do when they know that they're the one? They hold on to the orb until all of the powers of the universe are unlocked. Or until it goes bad. How do you know if it's gone bad? Oh, you will know if it's gone bad. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think owns this one? This orb right here? It's tough to say, but uh, my best guess would be, uh, I don't know, bold, courageous, five foot six, maybe five foot seven Latinx woman, but uh, that's just my best guess. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good day. Thanks, Steve. The yeah, one, two. Most know Mike Eagle's a rapping dude, but y'all don't know that I go to a magic school. It ain't Atlantis, it's La Crescenta. Learning magic is only agenda. We got special guests that will impress, but shout out to my crew, cause they do it the best. We got Ronnie, Carla, my homegirl Tree, and Danny on WZRD. Welcome back to WZRD. As always, I am your host, Open Mike Eagle. And I'm your other host, Danny Fernandez. It's Spirit Week here at East Gatewood, and you know what that means. Woo! Go East Gatewood Brady Cat! If you think you've been possessed, please see Nurse Tom in the infirmary. What? It's no big deal. You just go in for a quick exorcism. It's over in like five minutes. I feel like maybe I'm missing something. Do you know what Spirit Week is? Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. All of East Gatewood's alumni are invited back to haunt the school for a week. They can haunt objects, they can haunt people, but mostly they just like, you know, float around. Sorry! So they aren't just always here? No, they have to be invited. It's like a Coco thing. Dea de los Muertos, okay. So tree isn't a haunted tree? Excuse me? I'm an enchanted tree. Huge difference. Yeah, rude. She was planted here. Spectra Elder. Oh, sorry. Some of the notable alumni you might see on campus include the one and only cousin of Sir Isaac Newton, the original Taco Bell dog, and the artist Grimes. Grimes is dead? Maybe. Or maybe Grimes was never alive. Whoa. Carla, who are you excited to see? Oh, uh, fun fact, since I don't actually have magical abilities myself, I can't see or understand any of the ghosts. <laughs> it's so weird. Wait, so this is just like any other week for you? Sure is. I mean, stuff moves around a lot, faucets turn on. I usually get possessed around Tuesday and spend the rest of the week experiencing an incredibly painful exorcism. You know, just the normal stuff. Uh, and now a word from our dean. Good morning, East Gatewood Freddy Cats. It's another beautiful, filthy day on campus filled with freshmen, fun, and wild animals with a taste for human flesh. Oh, that's right. I regret to inform you that our beloved, implausible animals professor has been found mauled in his apartment. And it appears that all of its formerly imprisoned creatures have escaped. Please keep your eyes and ears open for stray monsters, including, but not limited to, Arvanoms, Alicorns, Beetles, Gorgers, Clawbirds, Demons, Fire Slugs, Gorons, Gorgons, Gorbons, a guy named Gordon, Hermit Bears, Invisible Snakes, Jelly Cats, Jellico Cats, Boinga Dongs, Schnurms, Biggle Digs, Dig Dangs, Bing Bongs, Ding Dongs, Mighty Gamblers, Goopa Goopa Grumpa Lumba Dumba Dong. Oh no!
Thank you, Dean. I hope he's okay. He's 116th, Dingo. I think he can handle it. Oh, enough about the damn dog, Dean. Let's get a celebrity up here or our viewers are gonna make like a treat and stop giving a shit. All right, all right. Time to summon our celebrity guest. You ready, Danny? Yeah. Summon up, summon up, summon up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah! Where am I? Who are you? Hey, all right, all right. Ah! Sorry, I gotta get faster on the chill-out spell. Yeah, Danny, yeah, help me out. Uh, Chalissimo! Hurry! Altissimo! Oh, God, that's trying to work. Does it keep going? Do you like tuna? Ah, so we're all good now, right? Yeah. Oh, you're Brandon Rogers. Yes, oh yes, my gosh. I, I well, am. um, welcome to WZRD. You're on La Crescenta's number one wizarding show. Oh, also, if you see any ghosts running around here, that's normal. This this week. That's weird. I'd like to go home, please. Oh, okay. Oh, monster! Where? Oh no, that's Ronnie. He's a student here. <laughs> to be fair, he is a little weird. It's a goblin. Yeah. Uh, Mike, did you have any questions for our guests? You know, I did. But now I got a better idea. Let's play a game called Ghosts or Just Weirdos. <laughs> In this game, we'll tell you about an incident where a non-magical person reported a haunting. Then you'll guess whether the haunting was the work of an honest-to-goodness ghost or, or just a weirdo. Yeah. Whatever gets us out of here quicker. All right, you ready to play this? In June of 2014, a family was welcomed to their new home with letters from The Watcher. These anonymous notes included highlights such as it has been years and years since the young blood ruled the hallways. Will the young blood play in the basement? You would never hear them scream, ghost or weirdo. I'd have to say not only is it a weirdo, it's probably Kanye or someone of the sort. The answer is just a weirdo. No explanation. You are correct. That guy is just a freak. I, I'm so sorry. I have no idea where we are. What, what is this again? Some kind of a cult? Oh, this is La Crescenta. Oh. Uh, okay, Brandon, are you ready? Remember, ghost or weirdo. I'm gonna try to remember that. Built in 1829, the Eastern State Penitentiary was dedicated to solitary confinement. Now, visitors consistently hear disembodied laughter and pacing footsteps, as well as see prisoners' shadows lurk across the walls. I knew it. Ghost or weirdo? It's gotta be a ghost, I don't like it. You're right again! There were ghosts! Apparently the afterlife is pretty boring, so there's not much to do except, you know, haunt. <laughs> I've been known to talk about ghosts. Yeah, I've been ghosted a ton. I've checked out your YouTube. You seem to talk in a lot of different voices. I do, yes, this, I have been known, yeah. Have you ever considered the possibility that you were possessed by multiple hostile spirits? Not only have I considered the possibility, that's the case. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, lucky us. Oh, can I see one? Uh, okay, um... Let me see, okay, let me, let me summon him. This is Charlie Chaplin, but he doesn't talk. Oh, so. oh okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you answer questions in interpretive dance then? I will try. Okay. Yeah, but you're speaking, so I don't know if, if you're... I will. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chaplin. This is the last question in our game, Ghost or weird. Okay, I got, fuck me. No, God, I got it. But Did you say God fuck you? No, oh, no, wow. I said let's do this. Winchester Mystery House. The window of a rifle company's treasurer built this massive and treacherous home, complete with staircases and doors leading to nowhere. In an effort to escape ghosts that had been killed by Winchester rifles, were they ghosts or just weirdos? Yeah, ghost or weirdo. Yeah, the you? Ghost or weirdo. Right now. G or W. Oh. Very important. Do okay. it. All right, okay. Oh, wait, weirdo, final answer. Actually, it was a trick question. Mrs. Winchester was, I think, by all accounts, insane. But her home did turn into a popular tourist attraction. It's kind of like a haunted Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh. Apparently, they even sell commemorative snow globes in the handmade gift shop. Oh, oh that reminds me. We should show Brandon our orb. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, Carla, can you fly in the magical orb? Let's get that in here. Uh, just a reminder, without magical abilities, I cannot, unfortunately, fly. But I would be more than happy to walk the old feats over to the orb containment chamber for you. OK, cool. All right, let's get it in here. I think it's fine. This might take a while. Maybe we should just forget it. No, no, no. He'll love it. And while we wait this out, here's a word from one of our sponsors. Join the student D&D &D club. OK. Now roll the dice to see if you can speak with the manager. Yes. 
Dennis and Dry Cleaners is a fun, challenging, interactive role-playing game for wizards where you get to try your hand at incredible human quests, like visiting the DMV to renew your license. I was in the wrong line again? I don't understand how to work the coffee machine. The DMV is crazy. What vegan dish will you bring to the office potluck? Roll the dice to find out if your casserole will trigger a gluten attack on your coworker. Ooh, food poisoning. That's not gonna help my performance review. Well, first you'll roll for damage. Team up with your party and voyage all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona for your college roommate's 30th birthday. Will you be a wise Donna with two kids and a tome of coupons? Or a rugged Brad with a letterman jacket and the ability to talk your way out of a DUI? In my defense, Your Honor, that garbage can was driving recklessly. <laughs> <laughs> Create your character today. We meet every Saturday night at 9 p.m. in the Human Resources Office. <laughs> That's a game I can relate to. It's normal. You guys got great games in this magic land. Uh, guys, um, how do I put this? The orb is... Beautiful. Haunted. Round. No, uh, no, nothing like that. Uh, just missing is all. What now? Gone. Totally gone. Well, where'd it go? I mean, silver lining here. Maybe it was reunited with its one true master. Again, I say, what now? I mean, you know, the master of the orb from the prophecy, the only person capable of wielding the power of the orb would take it and nurture it, be its one true orb master. Uh, who the trunk told you that? Hey, don't look at me, Tree. And please, don't look at me. Let's just forget it. Oh, maybe it was a poltergeist. If you're only partly magic, you'd be more susceptible to hauntings. <laughs> no, that isn't it. I'm not being haunted. I deserve to be here. I deserve magic and power and success and more than just a can of tuna. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm done with this trash. You need to take me home right now. Okay, uh, you got anything you want to plug? Oh, wait. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, at Brandon Board, and of course, because I'm old enough, I'm always on Facebook. Get me out of here. You got it. Bow! Mike, I'm sorry I blew up like that. It was just a dumb prank. Can we just forget about it? Uh, okay. But we still don't know where the orb is, and trust me, nothing good comes from a missing orb. Let's just figure it out after the show. I've been playing the same commercial on loop for the last 10 minutes. You'll never fully dress without a smile, so let the East Gatewood people players give you a goblin-sized grin. The wizarding community's favorite little redhead orphan is back with a delightful musical all of the campus will enjoy. And that's right. Annie and her lovable mutt Sandy are coming to the East Gatewood Adele Gazim Auditorium this October. <laughs> dance, Annie, dance. Ah, uh, look at her go. It's all about the fun-filled adventures of an adorable hobbit who cons a bald half-orc and is sharing his cave and spooky treasures. You bet your bottom dollar this show will not be off the off room. Tickets go on sale tomorrow, tomorrow. They're on sale tomorrow. Uh, Ronnie, I didn't know you were a thespian. Oh no, I forgot one. <laughs> Great. Well. Congrats on your play. <laughs> Thanks. My parents are coming up all the way from their swamp cave in Florida. And we're rolling in three, two. For our next guest, we're bringing back a notable alumni who's been haunting the school's library for over 400 years. Hmm? And as he's always said, why should education end after life? Please welcome Ferguson Alexander Lancelot III. Actually, it's Fergie now. Hey man, you look different. A little bit younger maybe, right? Well, I decided to shake things up a bit. Hey, what, who's doing that? I spent the last 400 years up in that library. You know what I see every day? Dead trees! Yeah, you know, sorry about that, bro. No hate, right? But I also see kids. You know what they're doing up in those stacks all the time? Reading. Living. 
moving, dancing, grooving, never reading. Last time somebody went up there to check out a book, 1973. 1973. Mm. Wow. Hey guys, how is it going up there? Just a casual reminder, I have no idea what's going on. So, Fer Fergie, I've been telling Danny all about your yearly lecture on 17th century bookbinding, and she is just wow. Yeah, I, I can't wait to hear all about it. <laughs> Listen, fasten your seat buckle, my witch, because I'm calling an audible mobile. Please invite your easily frightened friend to the stage. Uh, Carla, would you uh, come test the light for us for a sec? Oh, you betcha. You know we're still rolling, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a ghost thing. So I've decided I'm done with the whole old ghost thing. I want to have fun again. I want to do the things I should have done when you could still smell my rotting corpse in the reference section. Whoa! Oh, oh, that was icy. Did you guys feel that? It felt really directed just at me. Oh, it's time for me to go full poltergeist. Oh. Demonic laughing, haunting, dating women in the early 200s, the whole thing. Okay, okay, who did that? Oh, now I'm getting really freaked out. Should we stop him? I think he's having a mid-afterlife crisis. It happens sometimes, but never this bad. Okay, okay, ah, I feel it, but can't see it. It's fine, it's fine, it's educational. I'm okay. Okay, hey, let's cut. Right. Go to commercial right now. Dating can be such a dog and pony show. Are you looking for a thoroughbred, but keep ending up with donkeys? <laughs> Does every guy you date have two left feet? Or maybe he never ponies up for his part of the bill. Are you hoping for someone you can ride off into the sunset? It's time to try Centaur Dating. Here at Hay, we guarantee you'll find love in 100 years or your money back. Our stable of candidates is world renowned. You won't find any geldings here. Who has time for human boys? Upgrade yourself to someone who's at least half a man. And you know what the other half is. <laughs> hey, it's not just for horses. Yeah! <laughs> Great show today. Hey, thanks. You too. I think we handled it well, considering we have a potentially interdimensional destroy of worlds on a loose. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Well, it's not good. The last time an orb went missing, a ton of students died. Oh, God. Or worse, they became orb slaves. That's worse? I mean, yeah, it's hard to explain in non-magical terms, but it's like wearing wet socks all day. But they evil? <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs>